The following program contains testimonies of true stories by people who have received divine healing through the ministry of VPA. They gave these voluntarily without any directives from VPA. We advise you to always seek your medical practitioner's advice before you make any decisions based on this program. Get ready for incredible testimonies in VPA. Started on him. That thing disappeared and everything was now all right. Shut Jesus! They suddenly! They suddenly! They fire! I saw skin, like snake skin, fall in the bathroom. Shut Jesus! No more insane, no more medical, no more nothing. Go! Shut Jesus! Your story has changed. Wait, God, God, the name of Jesus, your God, story has changed. This man came here last year, did this, did this round for 13 weeks. You announced that three people have an directional problem, they should come out. Come here! You blessed him. That he was not working. Yes. His wife is not here now. The wife is now pregnant. And he's finding a God of the Jesus! One, two, three, fire! Stay tuned for more incredible testimonies in VPA. Victorious Pen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's nice to be back. Yeah. Daddy, we miss you. I missed you too. We miss all our brothers and sisters in the church. I know. So much. But for good. Yeah. We went to Nigeria for my daughter's wedding. Wow. We thank God that everything went very well. And and Daddy, we would like to thank you for, for your love, your support, and your prayers. While we were in Nigeria, everything went well, but the enemy attacked. Attacked in a very, I would say in a very bad way. But we overcame by the blood Lord. of the Jesus. Um, after the wine carrying, first of all, in, in, in my village, there were, because there was um, fuel scarcity in, in Nigeria, so yeah. we, could, we wanted to fly, but the, all the flights were cancelled. So we decided to go to, because the wedding was in Abuja, so we decided to go by road. So on the way to Abuja, after Okene, and we were looking out and we saw a, a car. After Okene, after Okene, that is near my village. Yeah, we passed your village here. Yeah. After after working just on the way to Lokoja, I just noticed a car, overtook three cars, and started swerving from side to side. All of a sudden, he hit the bus we are traveling because we we chartered the bus. My, my wife, my children, my sisters and nephews and nieces, we are all full of that bus. The whole family, and then the the car hit us, and our car caught fire. The bus caught fire. Wow. Yes. Real fire. Real fire. And then we ended up in a ditch. I don't know how we ended up in a ditch. And then the car like some assaulted and you know, we ended up in a ditch and I tried to open because I was sitting next to the sliding door. I tried to open it, it jammed. There was smoke all over the car, inside the car. I said, well, oh God. Daddy told us to be bold. Yes. I was bold, but I was a bit shaky though. I know, I know you are. Because, because, because you're surprised. Yeah. Got your surprise. Yeah. And um, my brother-in-law, my wife's and brother, was sitting in front. I don't know why he managed to open the front, um, the front door. And the fire that caught all of a sudden, I think it's God. The fire just stopped. Shut oh, Jesus! Jesus! You don't think it's God? Yeah, it's God. You, you don't think? Yeah, it's God. It's really God. You, you don't understand. Holy Ghost Fire Brigade. You don't understand. <laughs> you know, when we are putting and we are talking. Eh? You don't know what God what has happened. We, we understand me? But what you saw, you saw it. But now you are talking. Not even in the hospital, no scratch. Mm. Yeah, you know it can only be God. Wow. Yeah, that we thank God. It was God, nothing wow. else. And then we all came out. We got a smoke inside the, um, the, the van. We all came out one by one, and after that. All our luggages and the, the villagers, most of the um, transporters, everybody was stopping to say, wow, the people come out of this vehicle. And then all of a sudden, the, 
army, two army guys, they were in their post. They decided to go for patrol. All of a sudden, they came there. And they started guarding us there till a transport came. We were looking for transport. They said they can't leave us till, you know, we get something to take us to. Abu Can we appreciate Jesus? Church, what you are saying is just God at work. Our prayer is that we should not be victim. God, the crash you are seeing, probably only one will kept person cause it. That make everybody perish. Yeah. But when a set, a set is evolved, God knows how to redeem them through a set. Yeah, Out of one man, the world was redeemed. Only one man. Out of one man, all this came, all this while now we are facing them came as as only one man is obedient. And God still loved the man. Now. There are things, you know, that's why you don't have to judge. There are things. Abraham is a man of God. God loves you so much. But this Ishmael is the father of Ishmael. That's why man, the way you judge people. God loves those in love. Say my time has come. Yeah. Your testimony it can only be that, is so that is you are a carrier of his presence. Yeah. That we is, want, uh, yeah, it can only be God. Yeah, we want to thank God of VP. Because God knows mm. that if anything if you happen to you, I will be depressed. Yes. I truly, I'll be more than depressed. That is God. You know how to, that's what they call the manipulator. Yeah. But go manipulate it. Lift up your heart. Father declare, Bible says, no weapon form against us shall prosper. You make, God has made his word to be ray in your life. And I declare, every other aspect will now become express ray in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can we appreciate Jesus? Shout Jesus. Jesus. Shout Jesus. Jesus. Praise the Lord, church. That the God bless you. The Lord will continue to promote you. Higher, higher you will go in the name of Jesus. Your enemy will not see you in the mighty name of Jesus. I said, when they gather, they will continue to fail in the mighty name of Jesus. You have not started though in the mighty name of Jesus. The sky is your starting point. Shout Jesus! Jesus! You know what? Get up. You know what? I have to rule for God. I don't know but I'm, if somebody have told this my daughter that I will be his father, I think she will, she will, she will reject me. I'll tell you the truth. If the way I was, and I said, Bridges, if you years to come, you will call me a father. You will say, in the name of Jesus, every blood of the enemy. Every of the expectation of the man, just be the spirit. You, you see, she was brilliant. She was loved because she's brilliant. Teacher love was brilliant. And, and look at me. A secondary commercial school. Why I went to commercial school is, I said, they say maybe you can look at that. And I was late at this, but it was the toughest. How can you go and break me? One subject that make me like this, make like this, the fish your turn. I think God forbid. So what you what you are teaching me, I already condemn what you are teaching because I said, is it the short that that now I go study? How will I do this one? One there. Boom, boom. Make it like, make like this again. I said, God forbid do. So the teacher, the first day I see you, I already condemn all what you are saying. Because I have no hope, no future. Those be the one that has hope. Everybody we are looking all to them. They expected them that these ones they will do well in the school. He said, school. Now this game, we started from class one to the to five. I mean, we started from she was very small. You know, very, I don't know how she managed to be very small, very tiny. And today she's picking the back, microphone. Kneel it down, pray for me. Good up, 
children. Father, your plan of purpose for my life. Jesus, we come to pass in the name of Jesus. Sit down. You, you might not be in the plan yet. I won't go get to yet. It might not be yet. But God knows how to set you up. He will set you up. Amen. Let's hear. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Church. I want to bless the name Beaches, of the Lord. Can you repeat? Let me know about myself at that time again. It, it helped me to grow. Praise the Lord, Church. Hallelujah. It can only be God. Mm. We attended the same secondary school from 1978 to 1983. From Form 1 to Form 5. And that did then. I, I was a small child. I have never seen somebody that can't talk. I didn't know it was a disability. So in class, when they ask him question, you will go to back here and come back. He will, he's still finding it. No, the question. Yeah. When I say defer commands, then I will tell you commands all the times. Commands. 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 I'm calling commas, so you know that I'm defending commas. <laughs> Go ahead. And so when he's doing that, I'll just start laughing. And he will look at me. The moment the teacher leaves the class, he will come to me. You still have a small, a small friend called a friend, Evarista. That boy is more Tanya. Evarista has little things here. That one will, will look at her. Look at each other. They will both eat all after. Then, when it's time, when I, because I have to, because beating is better than what I'm about to do now. Go ahead. Praise the Lord. Three weeks ago, Daddy um, preached on a topic, the power of sacrifice. And, you know, he had to talk about the new building. I left the church because I was going for late shift. Way back to work, I was praying. I said, Father, touch my husband so that we'll be able to, you know, be part of this sacrifice. Wow. And he didn't tell me. The second Sunday, we sat there. He was standing up. I said, where are you going to? He said, I want to go, you know, to the queue. I have made a pledge. I said, did you? He said, yes. I said, how much? He told me. I said, oh, wonderful. Yes, I could give anything, but not without my husband. Anything I have, Everything I have is for my husband. Praise the Lord. Listen, listen. To prove it, I was shocked. You know, go, when you were in Africa, of course, she was, she was here doing um, course, I mean, um, I don't know what they call it, doing it here, and they were still uh, in Africa. And he said, one day, I don't know what would go to that aspect, that the whole money his husband have access to it, not in her. He said, it is what the man gave to her that belongs to her. So, that last Sunday, my husband, you know, I followed him. I was on the queue, and I told him, I said, I'm not the one that pledged you. I said, I will, I will fall out of the queue. By the time I was getting to daddy, he said, come, 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 come. I said, okay, I followed. And so, he prayed for us. Not up to 30 minutes. Guess what, church? Daddy gave us a car. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Church Jesus. Jesus. You see, you know, it's a privilege. Which is, when I see you, I guess more straight. You, you don't understand. If you do this, I roll for God again. Get up. For you to do that again, you have to roll. It's God. It's God. Get up. Get up. Get up. What am I saying? What am I saying? When I see you, it make me it make me fear God more. It make me fear God. That. And add the cap. And add the 
scalp that everybody know and I become able, automatic, without no connection traceable. God just do what you want to do. So you you you, are, you, you, you encourage me to know to believe more of God that God has called me. I'm telling you the truth. So when I do it for you, it's a big privilege. I'm not but to a car. That car is not a car that give you. Just let, use that car to learn. To know how to. Because you were there when there was no this man in the picture. <laughs> when there were no children in the picture. When you, can, when you know how to judge me. You know who can make it in school. You know. You know, people you can say they will make, they know how they will make it. Because they were brilliant. And God just make a dummy. And now I can lay out on you. And the ad is not natural ad. And now you add of blessing. Father, demonstrate more on their life. Father, use your soul as a vessel. The ministry of Jesus, let it be seen all over you. Can we appreciate Jesus? Shout Jesus! Shout Jesus! Shout Jesus! Shout Jesus! The topic in Ireland was do not pass me by and shout Jesus. I was shouting my throat was cracking. I never knew that something is happening. Praise the Lord. I want to thank God for the kind of man of God we are privileged to serve. It is a privilege. Praise the Lord. First time I traveled with him outside England, it was awesome. The kind of movement that we were, that is sorry, at the airport, we greeted him. He said, why you get up there? I said, sorry, daddy. And then by the time people begin to shout Jesus, people were asking me, who is this man? Is he Jesus? I said, no, 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 no. He said, shout Jesus. Irish people, they came, who is this? What's happening? Who is this? Everybody now. Shout Jesus! It was awesome. Praise the Lord. Another incident that struck me was more than 10 people. I see you in the dream. Praise Master Jesus. I have been waiting for a day like this to share this testimony. I say in front of you, I will share this testimony. I say before I share this testimony, I will roll for my God. Unfortunately, I want my husband to help me to roll for my God because I can't roll now. pregnant of my first child when I was pregnant of my first daughter tragedy struck between me and my husband not quarreling or just something happened for no reason I was already I was here so I don't know what to do I was depressed anyway they put him in jail for nothing he know nothing about I was I, I was like seven months to seven months when I was pregnant of my daughter so I, it's like I want to lose that baby then because I don't know what to do. I was depressed. But later on, I keep praying. My family keep praying with me. Even my husband's family keep praying with me. So along the line, 2003, 2013, sorry, I saw you in my dream. I was just standing by the wall like this. You were just passing with green and green. You saw me crying. You, chew, you put your hand in your pocket and bring that handkerchief. You wipe away my tears. You hug me, tell me, don't cry no more. So when I wake up, I said, oh my God, I wrote that date on my diary. I said, today I will never forget this day. 
So I was, when my friend came to my room, I was telling her, look at what happened to me. I saw this man in my dream. She said, ah, how can you saw this man in your dream? I said, I don't know. But second time again, after like three months, I was passing. You, you and Benny he was in the swimming pool. You called me. You lay your hands on my head. Benny he come out from the swimming pool. He carried that water and washed my face. He said, I should cry no more. Since that day, I said, oh God, since pastor had prayed for me, I have not met this man one-on-one. -on -one. I know this man is a real man of God. I will hold on to that, to that faith, to that prayer he washed. I know one day God will do it. It took us six years before they set my husband free from something he didn't know about. But today, I'm just glorify the name of God for keeping me because people will call me and ask me ah Gloria how can you wait how can you do this do you think you have strength but I keep praying to my God holding on to my God God I know you are the only one I'm calling if it's really you I'm calling give me strength to pass to overcome all this problem and really to behold and behold God strengthened me and he gave me strength to overcome everything that was happening but as I was coming today I said God I know I'm expecting something big. If this man is your really son, I don't care if he's passing by my side or if he's standing by the altar, I just want him to touch me. I was just surprised when you called me out when that girl was giving her testimony. I just want to give glory to God for what he has done. Uh, to today, I call you out already. You know, I don't even know. But what I will tell you, whatever you have lost, uh, you know, at times, God has a way of doing things. You might take, if God might keep you in prison for your safety. You might not do anything, but God will see if you are out, you will not leave. At times, it will take you, say, in the last year. People don't know the way God protect. But I will tell you, whatever you have lost for six years, Get ready. The miracle that will happen to you now will be a miracle that will make you recover. Oh, receive it now. Bring him again. And you will develop like, a, just a, like an Hebrew lady. The child, no complication. You, no complication. Holy Spirit, over to you. Ola, we appreciate Jesus. We can do better. We can do better. You give me paper. Two days later, they give me paper. I saw you in the dream. You tell me it is finished. Two days later, it finished. Shad Jesus! Daddy, you are a real man of God. You are a real man of God. Daddy, I'm eight years for Sanosika. Eight years. Last month, or the 29, I will never forget that Jew. I was asleep, I saw you in my dream. You say, my darling, my daughter, come. Stop I saw you in my dream. You say, my daughter, come. What happened? You see in the hostel? I say, yes. You say, why you not call me? I say, Pastor, I didn't know your number. You say, don't worry. I want to call them. They will release your paper to you. I say, God, that was last month, June, or the 29th. Or the 11th, May. Or the 11th, May. God that blessed me. Give me my <laughs> Give me my staff. It's time for Pastor, you are a real man of God. I mean, this country, I, I lost my sister. I still lost my daddy. I don't see any way to go home. <sighs> Receive recovery. Church, how can you explain? How can you explain? God, Jesus! Brethren, in fact, it they work here. No, 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 no. Believe it, believe it or not, it works here. Praise the Lord. I have told people I don't need your faith to know that it works here. My own alone. If you don't want to believe, I will believe for you that it will work for you here. Shout Jesus! Shout Jesus! After all said and done, and after all done and said, Daddy called me, first one, a powerful shoe. He said, take this one. 
I was still kneeling down, still met Nami. That means in this island that I came, Jesus did not pass me by. Praise the Lord. As we are doing that, the song, where is Emmanuel? The song I was singing in our hotel room that morning is Remember Me. God, remember me. They were, we want to go to, before we go to the uh, conference, they were, we say, eat, eat, eat quick, so because we will do so much work. He's there. I told him, I don't want to eat. I want God to remember me today. Praise the Lord. And God remembered me. If you are here, believing God for remembering you, shout Jesus! If you are here and you don't want Jesus to pass you by, shout Jesus! If you want to make it that today, ask God today, do not pass me by, shout Jesus! Can we appreciate Jesus?